Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple have released iOS 17.2 with new features, bug fixes and security improvements to all the compatible iPhone and iPad models. They have also released a new application called Journal. If you like writing journals on your iPhone, you can start updating your iPhone or iPad and you know, use the application. One important question many people ask is what is contact key verification feature that Apple have rolled out with iOS 17.2. So in this episode, we will see what is it and how to use contact key verification on your iPhone or iPad to communicate with your friends or any business contacts securely. Apple have mentioned in their support document, you know, about the contact key verification feature. It is not designed to prevent fraud such as phishing or other text-based scams. Contact key verification feature is internet to prevent highly sophisticated cyber attacks so you can ensure that you are chatting with the right person generating a verification code sharing it with the person either through a phone call or through messages app with encryption and making sure that you are chatting with the right person that is what contact key verification is all about and here under settings when you tap on your profile picture scroll down after your devices list you can see the contact key verification settings Tap on that section and you will see contact key verification in iMessage whether it needs to be turned on or not. So when I turn it on, I need to make sure that all my devices have updated to the iOS 17.2. Only then I'll be able to use this contact key verification feature. And when I click on continue, it asked me for my Apple ID and password verification. And then it took me to this screen and it shows that I need to update my Mac Studio and MacBook Air to the latest macOS version to support the contact key verification feature. Otherwise, I need to remove these two devices from the settings. All right, here you can see uh, once I completed the process, the feature is now on and tapping on show public verification code. Now I'm copying the verification code to the clipboard and I have opened the message and shared my public verification code with the person that I want to make sure that there is no impersonator that I'm chatting with. This contact verification code can be saved. If the other end person wants to verify the same that every time he is chatting with me, he can copy and paste this verification code under my name in the contacts app. There is a separate field under the contacts app. When you try to edit a contact, you can see add verification code. When you mutually exchange the contact key verification, simply tap on the profile picture at the top section. And here you can see the verify contact. It shows a random generated code here. You can click on mark as verified and uh, you need to copy that code the verification code it will automatically updated here so now you can see next to the name there is a verified label click on done and you can see that next to the name again there is a gray color tick mark with a gray background that shows that the contact is verified and you are chatting with the correct person so this is how the contact key verification feature works and i hope you got a better idea about it thanks for watching and for more useful iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe thank you and have a wonderful day